Greetings. This is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Uh, this is from last night, late last night, March 15. Free money. Um, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Scripture references out of Revelation 6, verses 5 and 6. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come, and I looked, and behold, a black horse. And its rider had a pair of scales in his hands. And I heard what seemed to be a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not harm the oil and wine. Now, Jesus has opened the scroll and initiated judgment with a series of seals, trumpets, and bowls. With the opening of the third seal, Joel, or John, I'm sorry, John speaks of a time when it will cost a day's wage for food. And about 2,000 years ago, a denarius was a day's wage for labor. So nobody's not costing us a day's wage for food right now. I just don't see how we're witnessing the third seal of Revelation. I'm personally, I don't think we've seen the the first seal broken and the white rider or the the rider of the white horse. So I think that's yet to come. Um, not to say what's going on is not a serious deal. It is, um, and to, to show in an unprecedented move, the United States Federal Reserve slashed interest rates to zero new round of quantitative easing will be initiated worth $700 billion in treasuries and mortgage backed securities might be time to take a look at refinancing your house for you, all those folks out there that have a mortgage stuff is going to get really cheap. Uh, emergency lending for banks has been reduced to 0.25% or 25 basis points. And repayment of these short-term loans that banks use between each other has been extended to 90 days. Requirement ratios for banks has been reduced to zero. And here's the statement from the Federal Reserve. The coronavirus outbreak has harmed communities and disrupted economic activity in many countries, including the United States. Uh, the Federal Reserve Reserve is prepared to use its full range of tools to support the flow of credit to households and businesses and thereby promote its maximum employment and price stability goals. And if you want to read more details, this was breaking at the time last night it's from CNBC. Uh, probably some better stuff out there now, you know, what, almost 24 hours later. Just going to take a look at you know, I'm going to pass on a lot of the data. Those numbers have gone up. We'll take a look at Spain's on lockdown. France is on lockdown. Germany is on lockdown now, Monday. Nike and Apple have essentially closed all stores globally. States are closing public schools. Hoboken, New Jersey has issued a 10 p.m. curfew. And college and professional sporting competition has been suspended. And that's been over the last week. That's old news by the time we all get to see this. So, you know, and which I do want to talk a little bit about, you know, there are a lot of critics out there that say this, you know, this is overblown. A lot of hyperbole overreaction with the media reporting and government response to the coronavirus, coronavirus COVID-19. And I just say, hey, take a look at Italy. Uh, and these numbers again are bigger they're probably pushing 30,000, 29,000 or so. And physicians are now having to make decisions on who gets care and who's, who does not. So hospitals, healthcare providers cannot meet the demand in Italy. And the number of cases has doubled in the last four days. And I got two articles, one from the Atlantic and one from ProPublica, who gets a hospital bed. And a coronavirus is unlike anything in our lifetime. We have to stop comparing it to the flu. So, and you look at it here in the States. We do not want news videos of overwhelmed hospitals and healthcare workers making decisions in parking lots and triage tents on who gets care and who does not. I mean, we have no stomach for it. 
and we don't want to see it. So take these precautions seriously is would be the point. It's just a simple numbers game. You know, the folks who get really sick with this are heavy care. They need respiratory support. They need ventilators. You know, we have folks who are intubated, trachs. This is serious stuff. And the percentage of it is higher than most cases. And they and it, it will just crush the system. Um, and that's the issue. And it's not like, you know, the flu, you get the flu, you're out a couple, three days, and you're back about your business. A mild case of this stuff is taking people out one to two weeks. And then other folks are, you know, taking close to a month to recover. I mean, so this is not like a little flu and I know the flu killed so many millions of people and are hundreds of thousands of people and there are millions that get the flu every winter. I get it. I hear it. It's not as stout as this. This is a different animal and this will knock you on your butt. If you get a good case of it, you know, and you've got about a one month vacation in some cases, um, means business. I'm going to close with uh, Revelation 6, verses 7 and 8. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come, and I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And its rider's name was Death, and Hades followed him. And they were given authority over a fourth, a fourth of the earth, to kill with sword, with famine, and with pestilence, and by wild beasts of the earth. One quarter of the earth will be affected by death with the fourth seal. So, I mean, we're talking a quarter of 7.8 billion current population, according to Google. We're talking 1.95 billion people. And, and please understand what we're watching and living is a human tragedy. I do not want to minimize this. But this is nothing of the scope and scale of what is to come. We're not... We're not in the Revelation seals. And my point would be there's time now. Close with a couple of verses here. Second Peter 3, 9, The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. And so it's God's will that we should all reach repentance repentance and that nobody should perish that's god's will but he gives us a free choice and so i'm you know kind of get tired of hearing people say well god just made somebody for the sake of destruction no he didn't no he didn't it's his wish that no one should perish but that we should all reach repentance and turn toward him that's the point he wants us now he's not going to make us he doesn't want some little robot he, he, he wants us to make a choice for him, and that's the point. And none of us are perfect. We all have issues. We all have something we're doing in our life, our lifestyle. None of us are perfect. We're all flawed. Michael Jackson knew that. Tell him that it's human nature. He was right on that issue. We'll close with 1 John 2, 2. He, that's Jesus, is the propitiation or the substitution for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So, um, you know, the wage of sin is death. You know, and I hear this argument, how could a loving God let this virus go all around the planet? The wage of sin is death. That's why we all die. We're all going to die from something unless he comes back and gets some of us. But it's just that simple. Bad things happen on this planet. Disease you know, death because of sin. And it goes all the way back to the garden. It's not that complicated, but anyway, I digress. And there is an answer. God God gives us away, and it's in his son and Jesus, and that he died for sin. He became sin for us. His shed blood is the currency, is the payment for sin. His death, his substitutionary death. The wage of sin is death. He paid that, not us. And all you have to do is just believe it and believe that he paid for it. God's got you covered. He does give you a way out. So anyway, 
appreciate you guys taking the time to listen. Um, appreciate you following along on the on the blog. Please feel free to share with others at paulthepoke.com. And then you can also type in here, click on this link, type in your email address, receive notification every time we put something out. And this will be posted on the far right-hand column under Paul the Poke, Pestilence, Trend Update, Coronavirus, COVID-19, or the SEO words, Federal Reserve, Interest Rates, etc. But you can scroll up and down this column of categories. Click on a topic. We got stuff going on, what, 10 years now? Um, Hope you enjoy the website. Please feel free to share it with others. Have a great evening. Everybody be careful out there. Talk to you later. Bye.